Big Blue Nation heading down to the Citrus Bowl in Orlando, Florida, 12 p.m. on ABC on New Year's Day. Penn State 9 and 3, 7 and 5 against the spread, 2 and 2 against the spread in the last four. Kentucky 9 and 3, 5 and 7 against the spread and 1 and 3 against the spread in their last four. Uh the opening line here was Penn State minus 4. It is now ballooned up to 6 and a half. Kentucky uh the the point total 47 and a half. That uh that doesn't seem like a lot of points here. Um uh, the metrics have got Penn State minus 5 with a point total of 45. So, metrics have it going under, and it's got Kentucky covering. I'm going to lean that way. I've already told you this stat on, on another game. As an underdog of six-plus points, the SEC is 16-4 and four in their last 20 in that spot. I think Kentucky is fired up for this game. This game will matter more to them than Penn State. Oh, absolutely. And it's it's Trace McSorley's last game, but he had been dealing with some injuries and whatnot. He, he might be fine by the time this game rolls around. Um, but I just, if I was trace, I wouldn't play. We, we saw Penn state against a really good defense and that was Michigan and they got beat 42 to seven. So I think Kentucky yeah, can slow. Kentucky can't score 42. No, no, no. Points. Kentucky's not going to be able to put that Kentucky's defense up. isn't Michigan good. No, no, they're I mean, not. But I think a they, a little bit of an exaggeration. I think they are really, really good though. I think like they're Josh a good Allen's defense. playing, like the, the no, players, they're, they're good defense. I'm Benny, not knocking them. So Benny Snell is playing running back for for Kentucky. Um, I I think I think Kentucky will be able to slow down Penn State enough. I like Kentucky plus the six and a half here. All right, you've you've sold me. So, I had no feel for this game whatsoever, but I like Kentucky this year. They're a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. And this I'll, is I'm on Kentucky, and I'm on the under. On the, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm going to roll the under as well. Under 47 and a half. Um, I mean, I'm on Kentucky in the under, and here's my lot. I don't think Trey should be playing in this game. You've got NFL aspirations. This game doesn't matter. Is he really going to play in the NFL, though? Have you seen the quarterbacks? I think he could play in the yeah, NFL. But he's, I mean, Trace is like five foot nine, man. I, I don't know that the short thing matters anymore. I don't know. He's. It, I think offenses have changed and adapted. You might be right. You he might be right. He be a backup. It's a good job. That's no, definitely a good job. I mean, you, you're right. You know what's crazy? Like we talk about Kentucky's defense, um, Penn State's defense metrically is better, right? So Kentucky only gives up 16.3 points a game. That's number eight, and Penn State gives up 20, which is number 20 in the country. Um, but yards per play, Penn State's number 17, like at 4.67 yards per play. Kentucky number 40 at 5.25, uh, but Kentucky has played some. Some crazy offensive teams with Missouri and, and Georgia put up a whole bunch of yards on them. Well, I mean, Penn State had to play Ohio State. I mean, that was a big game. Yeah. Now you're That's right. That's a good offense. You're right. So. You're right. Um, yeah, I, I think I like Kentucky. Right? So we're okay. both rolling Kentucky we plus six it. and a half uh, and then the under 47 and a half. 